Oh my goodness, this is so good. You still filming? Yes, I'm still filming. Say hi, guys. Hi, ladies. You're not guys. Hi, beauties and curls. It is Melissa Q. Welcome back for another video. And I promise you guys, fall favorites. Before we get into this video, I just want to welcome all the new subscribers. I have been getting some new subscribers, so thanks so much for coming and clicking that button. If you're an OG, thank you so much for coming back over and over again. I do have a giveaway coming up. I have one going on right now in my October favorites video, so don't forget to check that video out. I'll leave a link down below or put it in the iCards so you guys can check it out. And don't forget to hit the notification button. It's going to let you know that I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And today's video, we are talking about fall favorites. So without further ado, let's get into the video. These are my favorites. I'm touching on fashion, hair, makeup, skin, and some things that I'm burning currently. So I'm talking about things I'm burning. Candles, that's what I mean, y'all. You know what I'm talking about. We ain't burning nothing else. We're not trying to be like Harry or anything. So in the category of hair, right. I want to talk about some that I haven't talked about in a while. And the first thing I want to talk about is the leave-in. I am almost gone. This is almost gone. One more use and this is done. And this is the Camille Rose Coconut Water Leave-In Detangling Hair Treatment. This is so good. This is so good and you'll hear a little bit more about this because this is a dupe to a high-end product that I feel like you can actually keep in your hair. So we'll talk about this a little bit later, but this is absolutely beautiful. It reminds you a lot of Kinky Curly Not Today, but with a coconut scent and to me it's way more moisturizing, but I absolutely love this. It's a concentrated leave-in treatment for shiny, silky, soft hair. If you are coconut sensitive, I would not recommend this because it has coconut water in it. It may leave your hair hard, but if you love coconut, this is something you want to pick up. It is glycerin free. I'm so excited about it. I love this entire line and I did a full review of this. I will leave the link down below, but this is one of my favorites for fall. Super moisturizing and lightweight. So love this one. Another one I want to talk about is because I'm doing a little bit more protective styling in my hair. This is the Nioxin Hair Booster. I feel like although winter has the driest hair, I have the driest hair ever in winter. I also, my hair grows like a weed, especially when I keep it in protective styles. So I use the Hair Booster by Nioxin. This is absolutely amazing. I've used this over the years, especially when I lose hair, um, when I have that hair loss after having a baby postpartum shedding this is an amazing product you just use it to massage into your scalp or any areas that you have like concerns about it does look it's very thin and it's a serum so it's runny but what I do is just take it like this and I take it into my fingertips the pads and I just go in and give myself a massage this is going to circulate blood flow this feels so good it has a light, pleasant smell uh, or scent, but um, I especially do this on my scalp and around the edges, the perimeter of my hair, which is where I had a lot of hair loss, but I absolutely love this. I'm going to be using this this fall and winter, but this is a fall favorites, and I have been using this recently. I've gone back to this, and I'm excited about what hair growth. When you know things that really grow your hair, stick with it and yeah let winter and fall those dry months be the months that you grow grow your hair the fastest so those are the ones that i've used in terms of hair so now that we have talked about our hair products let's move into body care and skin care okay so i'm going to talk about a couple of face oils one has a retinol and the other one is so nourishing you can use it in your hair and on your face and on your body but I recommend especially using this on your face and your neck and you can use this in your hair as well and that is the drunk elephant virgin marula oil this is so so good you can mix it in with your skincare you can mix mix it into your with your foundation if you feel like you need a little bit more dewiness or hydration I love it because it's fast absorbing into the skin and oily skin can use this as well so this is my mini I do have a full size of this but I absolutely love that and then at night 
I use the Luna Sleeping Night Oil. This is so good. You can mix this in with your moisturizer. It is so good. It does contain the retinol, which means that the next day you do need to apply SPF. Otherwise, you're counteracting the the performance of this but i absolutely love this i know some controversy has been going on with uh sunday riley but the reason why i love this is because it works not necessarily because of the controversy i hope they clear that up but this is a good product and um i have one more use and then this is gone so in terms of moisturizers i talked about this in my october favorites but this has been a favorite for the fall and this is the belief true cream this is the aqua bomb they do have a moisturizing one this one is the more gel like the reason why i want to include this is because my girls who have oily skin this is a perfect it looks so beautiful under your makeup under your foundation this is such a beautiful product i feel like it's reasonably priced and i really like this this is k beauty it is super moisturizing it is a lot like the laneige uh, water bank cream and I love this it is so so good and it's very moisturizing and it's lightweight so staying on the category of skincare let's talk about the Freeman's apple cider vinegar form one clay mask this is so phenomenal you can let it dry down and it becomes a mask if you you know rub it into your skin it has those little granules and y'all this is the truth this is my favorite Freeman's mask of all time this is like in my top three favorite mask and it is a fraction of the cost it does things that a lot of my high-end masks do doesn't do when it's a four in one when it dries down you add water it foams up you can use it as a cleanser it is so so good i highly recommend this if you haven't picked it up if you have dry skin you definitely need to be exfoliating your skin Otherwise, it can lack luster and look dull. This is going to bring back the radiance. And if you have dry skin, if you have dry patches, this is something that you definitely want to pick up. Okay, so staying on the lines of exfoliators, let's talk about this Wet n Wild Perfect Pout Lip Scrub. This is a watermelon. So this was from their summer collection, but I love it so much. It smells so good. It doesn't have to be from Wet n Wild, but this is something to me essential in the cold months is exfoliating your lips. You definitely want to do that because you don't want them cracked, dry, bleeding, and any liquid lipsticks that you apply are going to apply even better. Your lipsticks, lip balms, you definitely want to be exfoliating your lips, but that's my favorite. Let's talk about exfoliating the skin. I have been loving the L'Occitane. This is the exfoliating delicious paste. Oh my goodness, this is so good. And this is in it, that almond scent, amazing. So I use this exfoliator, I wash my body, I use ex this exfoliator, and then I go in with the Amand. This is the Delightful Body Balm. I talked about this some months ago in a favorites video, and I absolutely love this. I actually use this in a self-care pampering video. I'll link that down below as well. But I love that you can twist this on. You can travel with it. I love that it's 10. It looks luxurious. And let me just say, this is the best almond scent of all time. L'Occitane locked it down with that scent. And so I love it. Love it so much. Let's talk about a palette. I do have it in a pan. I, that palette on my second channel. That's where my project pans lie. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. This is it's the dim light incandescent light and radiant light this is so good in the winter months because these are actually powders that i feel like girls with dry skin people with dry skin can use so i really do enjoy these i use this as my highlighter i've been using these as my under eye setting are all over the face but again i have this in the project pan and i am trying to pan that middle one um, it is such a beautiful powder. These are great for brides or any type of event and you want a light dusting. To me, these are more finishing powders. I don't really try to use them as much with setting unless it's under my eye and I have dry under eyes, but that is a powder that doesn't disturb the foundation, but it gives me a radiant glow. I am using it today, by the way, so I love that. And those are powders I feel like dry skin girls can use and still don't look dry or won't 
grab onto patches, you know. I've been using the Modern Renaissance palette and I have it on my eyes today. I feel like it's great for an everyday look. You can get some pops of color, some very holiday-ish types of looks with this. I absolutely love it and I have it in a pan that palette. I plan on panning at least a row, like um, seven shades. Yes, so I absolutely love that. Another palette that I've been loving is the Minted Everyday palette. This is the Everyday Eyeshadow palette. This is amazing. I love the fact that, first of all, it has a mirror, but I just want to show you the shades. It's beautiful. You can use some of these as blushes if you wanted to. I've used this as a highlighter before, and these are just some beautiful everyday shades, and it is so inexpensive. I will leave a link down below. It has a mirror. It's great for travel. I like it so, so much, and I feel like that this is actually a face palette. I know they say that this is an eyeshadow palette but really to me this is a face palette you can use it for blush bronzer I've used this um, I've actually used this these shades as bronzers and used these as highlighters and I can actually use this especially in the winter months you can use these two for blushes so I've been using that I love it so much and I love that they're cruelty free and vegan yes so the foundation that I have been loving this fall, I have been loving my Veil Cosmetics. This is the Sunset Skin Foundation. This is my favorite foundation of all time. I love it because it's year round for me. It, this life skin is so beautiful. It has skincare benefits. It's hydrating. I just love this one so, so much. And I wear 4G. Now this is my like spring and summer um, foundation but I can just put a little bit more moisturizer and it's fine it's self adjusting to me but I really love this because it looks so beautiful on the skin and it's not matte it's not demi matte it's more of a satin finish but I can actually go from sheer to full coverage with this one so that's why it's my absolutely favorite and I will leave a link down below for this because I just talked about this in a haul that I did from the makeup show but I love this foundation let's get to the candles that I'm burning okay so the first one that I actually have burning this is from Bath and Body Works this is the maple cinnamon pancakes Ooh, my mom actually bought this it smells so good and it's made with essential oils I really really like this now I have a you know love for Bath and Body Works candles it will forever be there but I do have my particulars I have graduated from the pumpkin pecan waffles although I still love it but I've uh, been trying some more of the different ones. So this is Maple Cinnamon Pancakes. Love this one. I have not burned this one yet, but I'm going to be burning it in the fall. This is Marshmallow Fireside. This is my favorite candle from Bath & Body Works of all time. Love it so much. I probably will get this every single season, so I will be burning this as well. I have two that I've talked about in my October favorites and I want to share with you guys I'm not burning this one yet but I have burned already a smaller version of that because I wanted to see how I would love it this one is called warm tobacco pipe and it's by DW home it's a richly scented candle it's hand poured it smells so good this is one of your sophisticated like scents. if you have a man in the house he's gonna love this scent it is so nice and warm and sensual and cozy and it smells so good it's oh it smells so good i found a new love y'all this is dw homes wood fire apple y'all can see how large this is this is a two wick and it burns it says approximately it has approximate of 90 hours burn time i bought this in did i buy this in september and it's halfway done and i have been burning this almost every single day and I love this because even after you stop burning it the room still smells like it so I really do love this I love mustard so I have two tops that I want to show you guys this is a top from Target I've worn it in my last videos but I love this it's from the brand a new day this is a stretch knit it's absolutely beautiful it's a button down I like it for every day and also I picked up this I've been you looking at this for months and months this is from H&M it's this mustard sweater it's just a basic sweater it's a crew neck and 
only 10 bucks y'all that one was like five dollars the the one from target this is inexpensive and still the color that i love so much but i've been watching this or i've been looking for this for a while and this is just like i don't even want to say a cable knit but this is like a basic knit sweater i love it so much and compare it with some jeans and some boots but those are my fall favorites y'all that's my fall favorites i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up please subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye guys